Hello, everyone. Welcome to, um, I think this might be the first Pro Stitcher Live. I'm trying to get my chair right. Um, might be the first Pro Stitcher Live that um, they've done, but hey, hello, welcome. My name is Adam Ratliff, aka Adam So Fun with an S-E-W. I am a handy quilter, national educator, a lover of all things Pro Stitcher, because I know a lot of you have other machines who also love Pro Stitcher, and I am so excited to be here. We are going to have a lot of fun today. I'm so hot. I'm sweating because it's like, oh my gosh, it's the first one. I better not bomb. <laughs> if you've had classes with me, I have all my drinks here. So I'm going to give it a few minutes, let some people join. And uh, this is this is fun. I'm live on YouTube and I'm live on Facebook at the same time. Hi, Carrie. Uh, lots of people. Oh my gosh, all my friends. Um, for uh, For those of you who don't know, I, maybe you, maybe you're new to Pro Stitcher, and you, today's your first time doing anything with Pro Stitcher. We have had a recent update. It was, it's been about a week and a half. It's been crazy. There's a lot of questions out there, so we're going to answer some of those. I can only answer a few of them because I work. Uh, um, I don't work at Pro Stitcher. I'm not at headquarters. They have more answers for you all, but um, I will uh, answer some of those burning questions. But again, let me take a drink. I had to run and turn the air conditioner down. It is currently 73 in sunny Palm Springs, California. Um, oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. There's all there's so many comments coming in. I love you all. Um, so let's start with a few things. Uh, Pro Stitcher Connect. We went live um, a week ago, Wednesday. And there has been a lot of questions. A lot of you are using it. A lot of you are loving it. There have been a, um, a few of you have tripped and that's okay because that's what happens. You know, we're all human. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, the discount for new tablets. So I always tell people whenever uh, I am teaching and when we're talking about Pro Stitcher, if you are someone who's going to purchase Pro Stitcher, it's one of those things. They're going to give you updates. They're going to update these tablets or these, this program. And throughout the, time, the lifetime of your Pro Stitcher, you're going to be able to get these free updates. They're going to come out. I always talk about the update in 2020 when OptiStitch released and everybody got 100 new designs, right? Well, that was free. All those updates has always been free. The update from Pro Stitcher Premium to Pro Stitcher Connect is also a, a free update. But with that came the um, inability of some tablets to keep up. So um, I happened to fall in that category. I had an Acer 11. It was, uh, gosh, I got my machine at late 16. I kind of just hit the ground running. I just started hitting buttons. But um, because of uh, the, the how old my tablet was, it was time for me to upgrade a new tablet. So... Handy Quilter, or not Handy Quilter, uh, Pro Stitcher thought like, hey, you know what? We're going to have a lot of people who need to update tablets at this point. We're going to run a sale. So they ran that discount. Um, they didn't expect the number that like they, they ran the discount going, OK, you know, hopefully we sell through half, maybe three quarters. Really, in 10 days, they sold out of those tablets. So the first question we're going to address, will those discounted tablets be available again? And the answer is yes, they will. So what's going to happen starting June 1st through June 16th, if you have not purchased an upgraded tablet, you can, um, they're going to extend that price and you can pre-order a tablet. Now, it is a pre-order. What, um, what consumers usually don't understand is that those tablets and um, all of the connections and everything for those for every machine is different. So those are kits that are all put together um, by uh, the, the Pro Stitcher people. So um, we're going to say that shipping will probably be up to 90 days before you actually get that tablet because they have to get tablets in. They have to create them and uh, basically they have to build these kits. So um, they are extending that. You can pre-order from June 1st through June 16th. So they're giving you another uh, another 16 days. Um, it is a pre-order, but you will get that guaranteed price. And those custom, just remember custom kits. We're hoping they get shipped within 90 days, but again, custom kits. Um, let's see. I purchased, let's see, I'll start. Tracy's asking a question, so I'm going to address this if I can. I purchased PS Connect. Can I down my 
can I download my two designs before I upload the PS Connect to my current tablet? Is there a free design when you purchase any additional two you get for May? Wait, is there a free design when you purchase in addition to the two we get from May? Um, so Tracy, I believe when you set up your account, you should have got a, a free download. And then you'd also have your two downloads. You can do those downloads online, just off your computer. And then you can, uh, whenever you log into the Connect, on your tablet at your machine, they will already be there in your downloads file and you just have to click download. It is amazing. So that's off to our second question because we've had some people, I don't, I don't know if you've tried, the, the Pro Stitcher website is a little bit slow at the moment. We're not really sure why and by we're there because I asked. So um, for those of you who have been trying to do your downloads but you haven't been able to, um, just because the website's slow, if you don't um, do your downloads, because the uh, the the membership works as a use it or a lose it. You get two membership downloads a month. You download them each month. So um, if this month, you because it was the rollout and there was a lot of questions and things that just people are unsure about, if you don't use your two, if you email support at prostitcher.com, then you can, uh, they will help you to get those downloads back so you don't lose any downloads. We don't want anybody to lose your downloads um, because we want everybody to stitch out everything. Everything, all of it. We want it all. Um, so let's see, was there other things? Uh, another question I've seen it quite a bit. Should you have Windows do the update? Um, yes, if Windows offers an update, you should do that update. Um, that's going to keep your tablet uh, I don't, up to date. It's going to keep it secure and everything. So they said yes to that. I know in the past we've always said no, but we also didn't have internet. So now we're saying it's okay. Um, there is virus protection on the tablet already. It's uh, don't ask me because I hit start and make things pretty. I don't do computery stuff, but there is there is current vi virus protection on the um, tablets. So you should be okay. And the only place that you're going to be downloading stuff from is prosigure.com. So we feel like that that is going to be um, uh, uh, pretty secure because you're not going to download anything full of viruses there. Uh, can I see the chat? I can. What happens to the tag things in catalog? Um, so if you tag things in catalog, you should, oh my gosh, the chat's going so fast. Uh, if you, if you tag things in catalog, you should save them all and back them all up somewhere else on a different drive, on a USB drive or an external hard drive. Um, that designs file of your um, computer is proprietary to ProStitcher. And usually when new updates come, Windows Defender is the, is the wife or is the, uh, thank you, Lisa. Windows Defender is the antivirus uh, um, program. Um, but when you do those updates, it can go in and, um, erase some of your tags. So if you're gonna tag and keyword things, uh, save them onto somewhere external. Uh, I did all my downloads, but now my screen freezes all the time. I can't get through quality completely. Um, Leanne, I would say send a message to support at .com and see if they might have a, a help for you. Um, so, oh, let's see. Anything you're supposed to download it from computer or tablet. Oh, there we are. That's fun. Um, should I upgrade the infinity and all others if we can before you install the processing? Um, you only need to upload the upgrade the software. Anytime there's a software upgrade, you should, especially if it's for a machine. I don't believe there was a new infinity software for Connect. Um, let's see. Uh, nope, it's still available. There's a lot of stuff going on in the comment section. So um, those are kind of the questions I had. Uh, today, we're going to, um, I'm going to talk to you about like quilting outside the box. I, for those of you who don't know me, I'm, I have been quilting since 2016. I got my machine. Like I said, I just jumped in. Um, I had my machine for like two weeks and then Pro Stitcher started doing all the stitching for me. And I started uh, quilting for other people. Um, I knew how to set up an edge to edge. I could advance it. I could go. So I, I did all that stuff. Um, so I, I would watch people on YouTube and I see it's funny because people watch me on YouTube and then they're like, oh, I saw you do it. So I went and did it. And that's exactly what I did. I saw people do it, except I saw them do it. And then I went and did it really bad. 
because I just didn't know what I was doing. I was hitting buttons. And then um, I started learning. I learned a lot from my mistakes. I was okay. I am not, I say I'm not the, the wall of blue ribbon quilter. I'm the one who is like just laughing while he quilts. Um, this is one of the handy quilter challenge quilts behind me. I, I do stuff. I do a lot of um, kind of thinking outside the box. You can't see anything. I need to lean this way. There's, you can see a little bit in the black, but I call this one uh, what lies beneath because the black side is a mirror image of the front side. Just everything is done in thread colors instead of actually having them pieced. And um, oh, thank you, Kathy. Uh, so um, today I want to talk about thinking outside the box using designs that you already have, maybe things in Pro Stitcher. Maybe when you go on and you look at Pro Stitcher patterns, um, you start looking at patterns a little bit different because you uh, learned something today that might help you there. So um, let me make sure I have all of my things, um, my questions that I had. Um, will this be recorded? Yes. <laughs> that was, I think that's the last one. Um, Christina is, they are doing their watch and learn today. Um, I'm going to be working in simulator today. So at noon mountain time, um, Christina is going to be on with all about simulation and pro stitch. You're talking about the simulator and everything. If that's something that you're interested in and you're not really sure how to get it. So, um, you can tune in there, but, um, if we can bring up my pro stitcher screen, let's see. Oh my gosh. I, you be behind the scenes. Thank you. Um, we have some great people working behind the scenes today. So, and I have all my all my um, drinks. So this is Pro Stitcher Connect. Again, this is simulation. So this is working off of my computer. I do have two computers. So I'm looking at you, but I'm going to be looking here a lot because that's where the computer that I'm working with. Um, it's saying that I'm being shared. I know. So uh, this is our Pro Stitcher screen. I have my Pro Stitcher pattern so I can go. I've been downloading things so I could click on my downloads. Um, and we you know we can purchase patterns in here. Here, I don't know why I clicked that because I know that the site is running slow and I did it. Um, I did it anyway. Uh, the One of the great things, and I think we don't talk about it enough, is this tab right here. And this is the Learn tab. So this is going to take you to all those great videos that Kim, Christina, Denise, and the Studio Educators put together for you. Um, how do you tune into Christina? She will be live. Um, I believe she's they'll have it on the Handy Quilter page but also on the YouTube channel. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But I know it. I saw the thing on the YouTube channel earlier. Um, so I'm in my Pro Stitcher. I'm going to click over here because it's not going to load. But here's our Pro Stitcher. So the first thing I want to talk about is some different ways to use designs. Um, I do a lot of stuff in Simulator whenever I'm just playing around and having a good time. I always say when you're in, when you're in Hawaii with all of your family and on day three, they're just driving you nuts. You send them all to the beach. You sit yourself right in front of the air conditioner. You grab your computer. You turn on Law & Order SVU. And then you get to play in Pro Stitcher because you have Pro Stitcher Simulator installed. So one of the things I found out is that I was looking for a border design. And I was just in here. I was clicking buttons. And one of these what ifs happen. So my first tip is try stuff. Just because you use it doesn't mean you have to, or just because you open it doesn't mean you have to use it. It's so funny that people get things and they're like, well, like, you know, they, they'll set up an edge to edge and they won't really like it, but they'll still use it. And I'm just like, no, 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 close it. Try another one. So I'm going to go Pro Stitcher Designs open. I'm scrolling down to my Pro Stitcher's file. Um, I'm going to try to use everything from the Pro Stitcher file today. And usually when we are going to do something in a border, we're going to click continuous line. And we're going to find something in these files. But I didn't want a continuous line. I knew it was there. I just started clicking files. A lot of people will hit blocks. So let's open a block and then we'll talk about why this won't work. And I'm going to also open another design because you can have more, more open than one. And I'm going to open this Chevron design. So, oops. I'm going to move my stuff around. So let's talk about this block. If we look at the block, we can see our start and a stop right here at the center. The circle with the green X is start and the circle with the red X is the master uh, stop. And I'll move these away from each other so we can see them a little better. And there you go. If my dogs start barking, I'm sorry. They're crazy. Um, now, with this design, the start and the stop are right in the center. 
this can never be edge to edge. We can't not not without going into Pro Stitcher Designer and um, editing this design or having to edit this design in a certain way because because of how this is this is set. To have something edge to edge, we need a start and a stop to edge to edge properly. We need the start and the stop, um, one on the left, one on the right, and on the same plane. That's that's the norm. That's what that's what we talk about, right? Well, I'm going to scroll over to this triangle design, and we'll pop it here. And so I have a start, I have a stop. The stop is on the right, the start is on the left, or the so or sorry, the stop is in the center, the, the start is on the left. So most people would look at this and say, hey, this doesn't edge to edge. This is not how we need them. We need the start on the left and the stop on the right. But let's just, for, for giggles, look what happens when you edge to edge this. You can, you can continuous line stitch this. I'm gonna baseline that so it sticks together. Um, and you get this really cool kind of mountain design. Now, is this gonna be great for every quilt? No, but this is a nice, um, a really nice border design, especially if you have something angular and you need to just add some more um, straight line details. If I go back to that same file, there's the Chevron four. I'm gonna pop this one open. Let's we'll zoom into these. Um, so to zoom, I just select the zoom and then um, it's not like an iPhone. You can't use your fingers like this. You're gonna put your finger on the screen and scroll and make a box and then let go. So it's gonna look like this. If I'm using my finger, my finger's on the screen, I'm gonna scroll and make a box and then I'm gonna let go. Um, so if we look at this one, see how the end is on the left and the start is on the right? This is not something that would edge to edge the way we would need it to, because we really need it to go left to right. So um, what we can do under the modify tab, so I'm gonna click on the modify tab. We have this button here that says swap. If you are Pro Stitcher Lite user, you don't have swap. Um, there's other options that you might be able to do, but you can't use the swap button. But for every other Pro Stitcher user, Pro Stitcher Premium, we're gonna hit swap. You'll see our button swap, our starts and ends. And super important, This um, we have to baseline that swap as soon as we do it. We need to freeze those two points. And um, now we have this ready and watch when I repeat this one. I love these designs. This might look familiar because it was on um, the ad for this Facebook Live. Um, in, just a few, in, in just a few minutes, you have this new edge to edge border design. Um, don't forget to baseline. And you can use this in so many different uh, applications. You can, put these together if you wanted to. I could, I'm gonna scroll this up. And this is where simulator gets crazy and where my brain gets crazy because I just start picking things. And let's see, what if I flip it and I make it nest and we, ooh, that would look cool. Oh, but it had over stitches there. Nope, didn't like it. Ooh, they're little hearts. Look at that little heart it made, kind of, I don't know, I play. Um, but I could I could change the sizing of these. I could use two of the same, which probably would nest a little bit better. But it's just getting you to think, I don't have to go into the continuous lines box. I can go look for other things that might also edge to edge and work well um, in some of these applications. It's just... It's, it's the think, look, look and play. Because at the end of the day, if I didn't like these, I can say, oh, you know what? Clear all, start over. It's, it's okay, we're allowed to start over. So that's my first, my first little tip. Look in other files, find other things that might work well for, um, for what you're doing. And if they don't work, it's okay. They don't work, you just try something else. I'm seeing a lot of... Uh, a lot of um, names of my friends. I love it. Um, so our next thing, we're going to talk about creative cropping. So file design open, and um, we're going to open. Uh, let's see. I don't. Let's something continuous line. I always use the bunny, but let's say let's do it. Let's just use the bunny. So um, my joke is, I call this creepy bunny. It's bunnies and stars. Why I call it creepy bunny. I also just spilt water all over myself. Um, so when you have these edge-to-edge -edge designs, a lot of times you have a lot of different um, elements, a lot of fun things. Uh, the other one I can think of is like Nancy Hackey. She has, uh, let me see, Nancy Hackey. She has her uh, trailers. 
Um, there is a sports themed edge to edge and I can never remember what it's called. So I can't use that. But um, sometimes you'll have like these, uh, these designs where this is the same kind of trailer used throughout the same bunny throughout, but um, there is a sports where there's um, like a baseball, football, basketball kind of thing. Well, you don't have to use designs. We have free reign in Pro Stitcher. I always say that you are the kings and queens of Pro Stitcher because you get to do whatever you want. So if I have this design, I don't have to use this whole edge edge. I can pull out just one of the one of the bunnies. So we're going to call this creative cropping because I can say, you know, I want this one. I don't know why this is the one I want, but this is what I'm going to want. So I'm going to look at this path. And if I, if I just kind of follow the lines, we're going to go around here and by start my, it's going to start at the neck here and then it's going to end. It's going to come out at the foot. So I'm going to move my machine, move my crosshairs over to right before that design starts. And now it's going to, I'm going to work it like it's a, a, a thread break. I'm going to go to pro stitch your tab new start in the ribbon and you have this uh your start column and your end column for those of you new who might have just updated you're going to see new buttons over here um because we used to have like an up and a down and then these now we have an up and down up and down and then your jumps you might have umps at home it's okay it's just your side the side of your screen is just a little bit smaller they do the same thing your umps are fine um, so the, these buttons up here will move that design, move that start point just a little bit. You can just hold it down. The buttons down under the scroll bar will move it a little faster. So you'll see it's going to pop. You can use the scroll bar to scroll that through as well. If you pull that scroll bar down, these are going to move from your jumps. I don't have any jumps, so it's not going to do anything. It's just going to put it back because there, there was no jumps there. What I'm looking for is I need to move the start point up here to my crosshairs. So under the word start, I'm going to click auto. There's my start point. It has moved. And really important, we know we need to turn this off. Um, so there we are. And if I use my simulate, I can move. And now my start point is here. So at the end of it, I'm going to do that same thing, but I'm going to move my end point this time. So on the um, under end, we still have that same auto button. So I'm going to hit that auto one more time and be sure to turn it off. So auto, auto or auto twice. And now I have a, end point, or a start point in the front and an end point in the back. Let's see. I'll zoom into this. And now what I want to do is I want to move these to right where the design's coming in and out. So I'm going to move my start point down over with my scroll bar. And I always like to, to pull those points out before it and then just kind of scroll them down. It's up to you, personal preference. I always tell people, they say, what does this look, how does this look? And I always say, hey, that's uh, up to you. You are the creator of your quilt. You are the, you are the quilter. You get to pick what it looks like. And, there's, and you never make a wrong decision. And if somebody says it's a wrong decision, you find a new friend. Um, so on the end point, I'm going to move that end point up. So the start point's coming down, the end point's coming up. And let's go, let's go, let's go. When you get them to where you want, so one's at the beginning, one's at the end, I'm gonna come up to my modify tab. In the ribbon, we're gonna use the crop button. And so you'll see that I only have one option over here, which is start end. Um, some of you might have never even noticed that it's there because you've never used it. But when I hit start end, I'm going to zoom out so you can see this. Uh, well, oh, I can't. I'm look. Uh oh, I'm looking for a button, but it's behind my little scroll bar. I'm going to zoom to my design. That's what this little button, down, this zoom down here does. I'm going to hit start and end. Bam. Now I have just that one piece of the design. I'm going to baseline this because we always baseline after a crop. And now I have one little bunny. He's sad because um, he doesn't have his friends anymore. But think about that. All of those designs that you have, maybe um, it's a bunch of fun flowers. So you can pull just one flower element out. Uh, maybe it's... Um, those the sports and you have you know i needed a soccer ball one time so i pulled out just the soccer ball um or i needed a football and i pulled out the football so you can take single elements out of those designs and 
um, use those specifically for some other things. I like to do this um, maybe if I'm doing some negative space quilting and I just need the, I just want something quilted, a motif quilted in the back. I've done it with cats and things. Um, so if I come over here, one thing to one thing to keep an eye on when you're doing this is you have to kind of follow that path and know where, um, ooh, great for couching. Yes, very great for couching a specific design. I like that idea. Um, but if you're looking at this design, um, you have to kind of follow that path and see what's going on. That's the hardest thing here because you have to kind of know what's going on. Um, I, I think crop is its own little monster. I've made some YouTube videos on crop because of all the different things you can do. But um, if I look at this, if I look at this first um, trailer, I can see that there are no lines coming off of it, right? That means the only place it touches a line is here. That's, so that means this is going to be a start and a stop. Okay. Um, if I look at this last trailer and I kind of breeze around it, it looks like it kind of touches there. Um, it does touch here. So this one might be a candidate because I think this probably just is a squiggle and it gets close. Maybe if I zoom in really close. Oh yeah. So they don't actually touch. So I know that that one is, uh, this, this one would be a good candidate. But if I look at this top one, see how it has these extra pieces up here? probably not the one I'm going to choose because if I crop the start and end at this intersection, I'm going to still have these random um, pieces of this trailer up at the top. And I don't, I wouldn't want to have to go in and try to crop this again. Is can it be done? Yes. Um, it, it's going to take a lot of, uh, a lot of know-how to be able to get this to crop and do what you want. Um, so use one of the other two. They're a lot easier. And we'll go through this one more time. I'm going to use my simulate button because I don't have a machine. I'm going to bring my um, crosshairs over here because the crosshairs represent where your needle is. And let's see, pro stitcher, start end. I'm going to hit auto, auto for my start. I'm going to come to the other side under end. I'm going to hit auto, auto. I always zoom in because I always say I can't see anything. Um, I'm going to move my end point up to there, and I will move my start point down. There we are. And now when I zoom out and I modify crop, start, end. So modify tab, crop in the ribbon, start, end. There we are, baseline. And now I have a trailer. And if I wanted to get real crazy, I could say, oh my gosh, let's resize him and put him in the window. Uh, resize. So there's a, I mean, you really can do a lot of stuff with Pro Stitcher if you just, let's see. Oh gosh, this is where, you know, it's like, why did they give me time? <laughs> resize. And then what? <laughs> uh oh, just work with me. I'm going to go create a multi point area around this window because I'm that guy. Ding. I have my dings turned off. Ding. 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 Now, he would be very small, but you can make things really small in Pro Stitcher. There we are. And now I can uh, modify crop. I want to crop the outside and close my edges off baseline. Oh my gosh. How cute. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Uh, I'm going back to some comments. What is couching? Couching is where you are stitching down uh, yarn or some other type of thread um, as you stitch and it makes that uh, everything nice and big. Um, oh, you guys are so nice. Everybody's over here uh answering questions for each other i love you pro stitcher community um so yeah now i just put my bunny into my my trailer oh my gosh he's waving high not as creepy there so um so that's my second my second little tip get creative with cropping play do some things um you can there's so much you can do and you don't have to always be serious 
Sometimes, sometimes it's good just to practice some of this stuff, whether it be a simulator or at your machine. Um, one thing to, to note, if you're at your machine, which I do a lot of this um, when I'm at my machine, just because I'm like sitting there, um, don't have your machine all the way back. Like you don't want to be leaning forward, trying to hit those buttons on that screen. Pull that machine towards you. Work right in front of you. Bring up a chair. Like it, it, it's, it's one of those things, like be the most comfortable that you can be. Um, and work on your stuff. And then uh, once you have all of that, everything ready, uh, uh oh, Pro Stitcher's asking, how do you save your new crop designs? Let's do it. Um, but yeah, get comfortable when you're working in Pro Stitcher because um, the worst thing is to be leaning over, not realizing it, and then you're back hurting the rest of the day. So then you just have to do some edge to edge and go sit down. I would say hit, hit run and then if you're if you partake have a glass of wine um so i have my new design here's there's two important things here um one i have two different designs so do i want to save them as different pieces or do i want to save them together if i pull that bunny out that's what our, my new bunny design looks like and here i will zoom in nice and big for you so this is my new bunny design um maybe don't need him by himself maybe i need him in my trailer window. So I'm going to hit undo so it puts them back. There we go. Um, if I come over to my workspace tab on the sidebar, so I call this the sidebar workspace tab, and I click here, um, there's the camper E to E, and then there's my bunny and stars. Now these won't stitch one right into the other. Could I make it do it? I could, but it would take, a, like, I'd have to rotate the bunny a certain direction and stuff, or go into designer, and I don't want to do that. I'm just going to have a jump. Um, so I can select them both down here on the bottom left, uh, right under my head. Um, but on the bottom left of your screen, you have some arrows. You can see this one. I'm sorry. My head's in the way. I'm like, I won't use those buttons. Put my head down there, which is, which is fine. Um, but the middle one is select multiple. So I'm going to hit that and turn it green. You can see it green. Now I'm going to pick both of my designs on my workspace tab on my sidebar. Um, I usually don't try to touch the screen because you end up picking something that you don't want and then you just get mad. Um, so I can see that my bunnies and stars is selected. I can see my camper. I can see my jumps, my starts and my ends and all that. I can see that it starts with the bunny and then it's going to um, end here. It's going to jump down and then do the camper. If I want to realign these, Bill, hi, Bill. Um, I'm going to hit the bunnies and stars. See how it turns red? And look, I'm in my sidebar workspace tab and I'm working inside the group that I've created. I'm going to hit camper. Then now the camper is red. So this is for those of you who embroider, this is like the, um, like the, uh, your, your thread sequence. I am going to, I want the camper to stitch first. So um, I'm going to hit my up button. And now I've reordered this. And I can tell that it's working because now my start point is down here at the beginning of the camper and my end point is at the bunny. When I like them, because I want to save them together, I'm going to baseline. Now I have my merged group. I could rename it if I wanted to. That's fine. Super important. Turn this button off. Select multiple. Go down and turn it off. Um, oh my gosh. The camper pat pattern is in the Nancy Hacky folder. Um, and so now I have this. So if I want to save this file tab, we're going to save. And if you have Pro Stitcher Lite, you're just going to save selected because that's your only option. Um, this is a design. So that since it's design specific, I'm going to hit save selected. And then I have um, files all over this computer that I save things in. You should have a file on your tablet so you know where you save things. If you've never done that or you need to learn how to do that, when you hit, um, I'm going to hit cancel. I'm, so you're going to hit save, selected. Here's your windows, your designs folder. This designs right here with this carrot, I'm going to click the word designs and everything sucks up. Do you see how it got really small and you can't see any of your design folders anymore? I would have to hit this uh, the design folder again, but I want it to suck up because I want to know where I'm placing stuff. Um, nobody look at those files because those are secret. Um, I'm going to hit this new folder button and I can name this new folder and we'll just name it Adam and create. Let's see if I have one in there. Oh, I didn't. Um, so now I have my Adam folder. So now anytime I save something, I stick it in my Adam folder. 
at the beginning, that atom folder is going to be at the very bottom of that file. So um, right now I'm saving in the atom folder. I know because it's green. I'm going to click. I see Wayne's name. That just makes me happy. I'm going to click merge group. And this could be, um, oh, let's see. I'll just hit clear. And this is just going to be bunny camp. And then I can click save. So now that design is saved and I can say file design open. When I look for my atom file, it's not going to be at the very bottom. It's now in alphabetical order. Here it is. And there's my bunny camp design. Oh my gosh. So cute. So cute. Um, there you are. So that is my, uh, that was creative cropping. We just went like way too long on creative cropping. Uh, so I'm going to go file clear all. Um, Jen Eskridge told me one time, she told our class, you're smarter than the computer because you can turn it off. File, clear all. Um, all right. So our next thing we're going to talk about, um, look at designs, how they're created and see if you can piecemeal them together to get something new. So I'm going to go file design open. Some of you have seen this if you've taken classes with me. These are all fun things I teach in my uh, advanced procedure class. Um, I forgot what I was doing. I'm going to my uh, Pro Stitcher Designs. And this time we're gonna pop into our triangles folder. Now say you need a square and you're doing a design, you just need to put something in a square. Well, we have a lot of blocks or a block or whatever. We have a lot of block designs, but we can also create block designs pretty easy um, because a block is just two triangles, half square triangles, right? Um, so let me see. I'll pick my favorite one. Uh, I have to leaves and scrolls. This is my favorite one to do. I just think it's, it gives you such a beautiful design. Uh, let's see. Any nice. Um, so my this leaves and scrolls design. This this is a right. If we if we just picture an angle uh, or a triangle and we connect the points, this is called a right triangle because you have a right angle over here, or it's a right ish triangle. We're going to call it a right ish triangle. Um, anytime you have a right triangle and you have a start on the left and a stop on the right, this is a great design to use for this. Um, if you had this start, start and stop both on the right and it's still stitched out here and came back, maybe it would work. But again, it's one of those things. Try it. If you don't like it, close it, clear it. Who cares? Like, no, you're not hurting anybody. So my first thing is I'm picking my design. My second thing, I go to my edit tab and I'm going to hit duplicate because that's going to give me a second a second version of it. So here's number one. Here's number two. Let's zoom, oh, I want to refresh. Um, so I will zoom out. Um, so now I have both of these. Um, I need to rotate one. There's a lot of different designs we can make. I'm, we're going to call this the chop shop. Again, I stole that from Jen Eskridge. Thank you, Jen Eskridge. Um, so here's my chop shop. I'm going to take this one. I'm actually going to duplicate this one because I'm going to keep my original so maybe we want just a fancier triangle. I always tell people, if you make it fancy, you get to charge more, right? So I'm going to modify and I'm gonna use rotate. This is gonna be a heavily rotated uh, example. We're gonna rotate this one to the right. So now we can see my right triangle. It kind of looks like the right triangle of a square. And if I rotate this one to the left, we get its friend. So right there, there we have it, a new, a new fancy triangle that I get to charge more for. So the secret to this is we need to put these two together. How do we put these two together? I always sing it, reposition end point, reposition start point, reposition end point, reposition start point. Sing it with me. I'm going to modify tab, reposition. I want to pick whichever design I want to start to stitch first. And I want to what? reposition end point, end point. There we go. It didn't read it the first time. I'll pick my next design and we're going to reposition start point. So it's a reposition end point, reposition start point. Um, now I have these three designs. I'm going to move this one out of the way just so it's out of the way. And I can select these a lot of different ways. If I'm at home, usually I'm just going to drag and drop a box. How did I do that? 
I am putting my finger on the screen and just making a box with my finger. Like I'm zooming, but I do not have zoom selected. I have the select button selected. So it's going to pick any designs that are, I'm going to move my simulator out of the way. It's going to pick any designs that the hidden bounding box comes in. And on my sidebar, on my workspace sidebar tab, I'm going to, I keep looking at the screen here, even though I'm working over here, I'm going to click it and I get this new group. Do you, everybody see that jump that's right there? No, no, no. We don't want to jump. That's the whole point about uh, rotating things. So we, we can resequence these. So I'm going to click my leaves and scrolls. I can see that this is first in my sequence, but it's stitching second in my stitch out. So I'm going to move this one down. And voila, the, the jumps have dis disappeared. And one of my favorite things in life is back, and it's the black dot. And for those of you who don't know the black dot because you're newer to Pro Stitcher, the black dot is a visual representation telling you that your designs are, um, are going to stitch out in one fluid motion, that your start and your stop points are so close to each other or right on top of each other the way we did it, that um, there's no questions asked. If you save these and baseline these together, it is one new piece that is going to stitch out in, um, in order. So now that I have my new piece, I'm going to hit baseline. It will disappear because now I have one new unit. That baseline has frozen it together to start new. And now I have a new design. So I have my original square. And I, oh my gosh, I also missed the dot. Um, the black dot will come with your, uh, when you upgrade to Pro Citric Connect. So now I have my regular design and, oh, I'm going to charge you more design. Um, remember what we did in the first, the first example, when we were talking about doing things with triangles, what if we did like repeated this one? That's nice. That's a fun one. What if we repeat this one? Uh, a lot more classy. Um, let's see, I'm going to unrepeat this. The other thing I will zoom in to just this section of the chop shop. Your pro stitcher universe is so big that we're our workspace. I call it the pro stitcher universe. Um, you can just make all the designs here. What if I wanted to, um, let's see, I'm going to duplicate this one again because maybe we don't want a triangle. Maybe we want a square. I can pick my design, modify. I rotate my stuff. Um, you could flip it if you wanted to flip it and swap your start and sit, starts and ends. I just never do that. I'm a rotator because I know that if I rotate something, um, everything that is flowing is going to flow the same direction. So I'm just going to rotate this one all the way around. And now here's my first design. Here's my second. And then what do we have to do? We're going to pick our first design and then we're going to sing reposition end point, pick our second design, reposition start point. Now I can select them both. I see I have my beautiful black dot. My starts and my start, my stops are now on the left and I can baseline that in. And you, why did it give me starts and stops there? What happened? Zoom in. Uh, well, that's weird. We're going to say that that's a glitch. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to try something. That's weird. I, that has not happened to me before. Uh, let me resize this and rotate it. It's not giving me a chance to baseline. This stuff happens sometimes too. Oh, I have an idea. Let's see. Reposition end point, reposition start point. Oh, I just made something um, something new, but that's not what I want to do. I wanted to reposition start point. There we go. Starts and stops. Pick them both. Things are looking funky. Oh, I must have moved. Okay. This is when, oh, look. It's because it's off, but I don't want it to be off. So try this one more time. Reposition, pick my first one, end point. Reposition, start point. Oh, I made one bigger. That's right. Let's delete that one. <laughs> if you ever want something to, <laughs> if you ever want to delete something and you you have a lot of stuff on the screen, uh, hit uh uh, let's see, select your design, hit close, and then just select it. It'll just delete that one. I forgot I did that. Edit, duplicate. Um, edit, duplicate. Where are you duplicating? 
way out in the middle of nowhere. You know, I just want you to notice it didn't work and I'm not freaking out because you know what? At the end of the day, I could turn it off. Thank you, Jen Eskridge. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna rotate this one. There we are. And bring my crosshairs over here and reposition endpoint and click my next one, reposition start point, select them both and baseline. And for some reason I'm getting a start and stop there and I don't know why it's doing that, but um, we're, we're gonna pretend that it's not there because I can turn my jumps off. <laughs> uh, let's see, can you do this on the long arm tablet even if you have ProCenter Lite? Yes, you can with ProCenter Lite. Uh, so if you're making new designs to simulate on my laptop, can I save them through a jump thumb drive, put them on my tablet. Yes, you can save them on a thumb drive. That's what I do. Uh, mirror instead of rotate. You can use mirror, but then you're going to have to swap and start ends. So anybody with ProCenter Lite cannot use mirror. Um, let's see. There we are. Um, yeah, I'm. that's weird. I don't know why it's doing that because it didn't do that last week. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different ways. You guys, there's a lot of different ways to do things. Um, these are ways I like to do them. Does that mean that you have to do them that way? No, it just means that I have a way I like to do it. And if you have something that works better for you, please do it your way. I am not the person that says, do it like me. Uh, I'm the person that says, do it the way that you need to do it so that you can learn how, how everything works. Um, but that's, this is just another thing. It's, it's piecemealing designs together, pulling different pieces and, um, or picking a design that by changing a little bit, you can create new things. So um, that's our little, that's our third tip. We did triangles into squares or fancier triangles. Clear all. Um, our next one, uh, let's talk about combining edge to edge designs. So let's see, let's see. I'm going to open, um, we're going to continuous line. So I, um, <clears throat> I always like to, the dinosaurs. I think these dinosaurs are so cute. Like, I think everybody loves a dinosaur. Um, so maybe these dinosaurs, I always think they're hungry because, you know, I feel like dinosaurs never stopped eating. So luckily we have dinosaur food right here because those are brontosauruses and they were vegetarian. So where are our flower pots? So I have my flower pots design. I have my dinosaurs and I want the dinosaurs to be able to um, have some lunch. So let's see, um, maybe I only want this first flower pot. So the one on the right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my simulate, bring my crosshairs over. This one's a little tricky because if I zoom into this intersection, um, we need the, starts and the stops in the same plane, right? So I'm gonna come over here. I want I want this point right here under my uh, magnifying glass. So I'm gonna go to my Pro Stitcher tab, new start end. I'm gonna move my start point, so auto, auto. And now I'm just gonna move my, um, my start point to where it's laying right under my green line. I can zoom to my design and modify crop endpoints. Baseline. So now I have my dinosaur food. Yay. And let's see. Now I'm going to, here's my first design. It's my food. So I'm going to modify reposition endpoint. I'll select my design, reposition start point. So there we are. I'm going to select everything, making sure my starts and my stops are not at that intersection. This means that it wants to stitch the dinosaurs. It's going to jump back and want to stitch the leaf. And I don't want that. <clears throat> let's see. So let's do a um, pro stitcher. Oh, no, I need, sorry. I need my workspace tab on my sidebar. I can see that my dinosaurs are first in my stitch out and then my flower pot. So I'm going to click dinosaurs, move it down, move my simulate. There's my little guy and baseline. 
So now I have created a new edge to edge design with just the dinosaurs and, um, and my flower pot. So now if I want to go to repeat this, I can repeat this across my quilt. I can add my vertical repeats. And for those of you with Pro Stitcher Premium, I can come to my wrap function, horizontal, and offset my rows. And now it gives it a little more interest. So if, when you're looking at edge-to-edge -edge designs and you are trying to decide what to do, Think, think outside the box. Some things work better than others. Not everything is going to work perfect. But again, play and have fun. This is this is one of those things that you just get to do whatever do whatever you want until you like it. So um, that was one. My fourth tip was combining edge to edge designs. Make something new. Make something unique to just you. Um, and my last tip for the day is going to be something that I like to do quite a bit. I'm going to clear all this. And I am going to bring on my grid. Oh, I'm zoomed out really far. Let's zoom in really close. So here's here's my grid. Um, I used to always stitch with the grid and somebody told me, um, I can't remember who it was, but they said, your screen is so, your screen is so, uh, so full or so busy or something. And I turned it off. I felt like shame, like shame, shame. And, um, and I've never, I've never turned it back on. But I actually, it was too busy. There was too much going on. But there's definitely times. So I'm going to go to my Pro Stitcher tab. In the ribbon, there's the button that says record. Uh, everybody has this Pro Stitcher and Pro Stitcher lighters. <clears throat> I am going, we're going to use this mark button. And for those of you don't what don't know what mark does, mark works um, like uh, a multi-pointed area. But we're not making an area. You are digitizing. You are creating your own designs right here in Pro Stitcher. So if I, um, let's see, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to move my crosshairs. They added Snap to Grid in 2020. Oh my gosh, I love Snap to Grid. It is so amazing because it's going to help us get really straight lines. So I'm going to go to where I want. Uh, remember, I'm in Pro Stitcher tab. The record in the ribbon, I'm using the mark function in the sidebar. I'm going to hit mark. If you have an Amar, oh, uh, if you have a machine that has the handlebar buttons, the star and the diamond, you can use those instead of hitting your uh, tablet. And maybe I just want to make some straight lines. And I always, I always say like I make concentric, uh, concentric line designs. But I've done this a lot of times. I, I am a modern quilter. I don't know if you noticed the quilt behind me. I am a, definitely a modern quilter. Um, but I can come in and just ding around. And again, I am digitizing in real time. This is a new design that Pro Stitcher can stitch out. If I, let's say I want to do, um, was it one, two, three, four, five? So I need two and a half. And I am just making this up as I go. And that snap to grid is helping me keep everything straight. Uh, crosshairs. And it's just put your crosshairs where you want and mark. You would be moving your machine. This is a little bit easier in, uh, in simulator, if I'm being honest. Um, maybe I want to go here and up. Uh, oh, I can do this. I can do it. I, I, I'm over like, can I do that? Yes, I can do it. I just told you, told everyone that we are the creators of our designs. We get to do whatever we want. Oh, this actually probably won't work. Oh, so it's not working the way I want because I'm not on a line because of snap. Watch this. Undo, 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 undo. Create something different. I can make it. I don't know if I would do that. I would probably, I keep undoing, but I want to finish this so I can show you how we can make this work. Uh, going here and here. Sometimes it's just, you fall into it. If I come there, down, and if I come th to here, 
here's my design I made. Let me turn off my grid. This piece is ugly and I would delete it and make something else, but hey, whatever. Um, I'm gonna baseline this. I could save this. Um, it's gonna come out on your workspace tab. It's gonna say freehand. Um, I'm just gonna save it as uh, don't ever use. <laughs> uh, well, this is freehand one, save. Um, but if you have your start on the left and your end at the right and you're on the same plane, I can come and I've just created an edge to edge design. Real time, I could wrap this by half, give it some more interest. Okay, that would be kind of cool. Um, I might open my, um, increase my gap a little bit. I don't like designs to touch because then I have to be like really good at drag and drop. And I don't like to, um, be so good at drag and drop. I like to be like, okay, at drag and drop. Um, so yeah, let me, I'm gonna turn off my jump so we can see this. But again, Pro Stitcher, Pro Stitcher's endless possibilities. You get to do so much. You get to create and do everything that you want. Um, I have to get back to Kathy's question. Um, but you get to get, get in and create. You can do almost anything you want. If you want to move points, that's when you have to go to Pro Stitcher Designer. But you know what? Or Pro Stitcher, uh, yeah, Pro Stitcher De Designer. But we've they've made it so easy. We can just hit tools, hit our designer button, and there I have it. I can come in here and now I can do something. Um, just whatever I again. Now we can really do whatever we want. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna. I, this might just freeze my computer. Never mind. I'm not going to do it. It might freeze my computer. Should I try it? Everybody's like, yes. Uh, I want to, so I want here. I want to select everything. Oh, I can do only do one piece at a time. Um, we're not going to do it, but I was going to go and see if I could uh, change all of those to round points. But hey, that's tip five. Use mark and grid. Play with things. Um, somebody asked, can you do a curve that way? Um, I can't. I, I don't. Can I scroll back up through comments? Oh, I can. Oh, I didn't know that. You guys have lost, left a lot of comments. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Somebody asked if you can make a curve. Uh, you can't do a curve if you have snap to grid on. It's just not going to work because um, the snap to grid is going to want to make straight lines. Uh, if you were really wanting to make a curve, oh, that would be just hard. Maybe next month we'll show you how to add a curve to it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's it. Um, all right. Can we pop simulator off? Just, just We're just going to do my big floating head. Um, cause that's like my time. Oh my gosh. That was an hour already. Um, is art and stitch included in connect? No, um, connect our uh, art and stitch is a total different program and it works. Uh, it's a, a totally different company. So, um, for those of you who have had your machines for a while, you might've bought your machine with art and stitch kind of like me. Um, it is no longer, uh, art and stitch or, uh, we no longer sell with Art and Stitch. We sell with Pro Stitcher Designer now. So um, it is a it is a download. You can get it from your local retailer. Uh, you can digital download it straight from ProStitcher.com. Um, so Jacob, can you put just my head on if you're around? Uh, when you, oh, everybody, clap for Jacob at home. Jacob's been um, the guy who's behind the scenes. Thank you. Um, thank you for all of the people at Pro Stitcher who are um, doing stuff. For those of you who don't know, I'm Adam So Fun. That's S E W. You can find me on all the socials um, and YouTube. I have a YouTube channel where I do a lot of this Pro Stitcher stuff. I love to get people outside of the box. I love you to. Um, I love to. Uh, to press you. I like to get you out there and thinking of different ways to use those pro stitchers. They are great for edge to edge, but they are fantastic for everything else. So um, go get yourself a panel, get yourself some, um, some fabric, make some things, create, uh, go follow me and then share the things you've made. I want to see what you're doing. Um, if you haven't try to join pro stitcher posse on Facebook, if you're a Facebook user and um, yeah, 
like, subscribe, and hit the bell for everybody, for Pro Stitcher, for me, for I don't know who else. I guess that's everybody. Uh, it was great. Um, for those of you who watch me on my lives, I'll see you later today. And uh, thank you to all my friends who joined. Thank you to all of you Pro Stitcher people who I've never met, but I want to meet. And let me see if I can answer any of these. How do you do connect and how do I get it? Don't know version before. Um, you do not have to update to the version before Connect. You can update straight to straight to Connect. Um, you're going to go to prostiture.com for all the information on Connect. And for those of you who are still questions about Connect, Prostiture has done a fabulous job of um, creating videos for you. So you have all of that education right there, and um, you can see what's going on. Um, uh, what they've added and things to help you. There is a, all of the, everything that you need to help is right there. So go check that out. Um, they definitely did not leave you hanging. Uh, you just have to actually click on something to find that some of that information. So um, let's see. Uh, can you pre-order a new tablet? Uh, the tablet will not have designer on it. Um, designer is going to be a different purchase. Um, the Debbie, it was recorded. Uh, no, I'm not in Dallas anytime soon. Um, but check some of our other educators might. You guys, I'm just one educator out of 40 for the uh, Handy Quilter brand. And Baby Lock has educators and Janome has educators. So find the, the educator that's going to work for you, um, closest to you. So thank you all. We're going to cut it off there. I hope you have a great week and um, happy stitching. This, I, you guys, I'm excited to go stitch something now. I just have to finish the quilt before I can do it. So uh, bye, everybody. Thank you. I don't know how to end it.